Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another quick chip tip tutorial, shall I say. I'm just going to show you guys how to get that cinematic 2.35.1 aspect ratio for your film projects. I'm going to show you this in uh, Final Cut um, and I'm going to show you this in Premiere Pro. So I'm going to just add um, my clip into my timeline. So I'm just going to bring the uh, volume down and I've got this video here, a little cartoon, it looks okay. But it doesn't look really sort of cinematic, you know, it hasn't sort of got that sort of cinematic look to it, even though the picture quality is very, very good. Um, a lot of people make that mistakes when um, regarding this in cropping. So what they do is they get a crop and then, you know, they bring the crop down uh, just to give it that sort of letterbox feel. But you are sort of cutting the picture. As you can see, you're losing the uh, the, the, the the screen so it's a bit of a stupid way of actually doing it but a lot of people sort of do it like that so I'm going to show you quickly here how to get that corrected without losing any of your picture so I'm going to click on my video I am going to go to file new project and here is also basically your video setting so I'm going to go to custom I'm going to change it to custom and I'm going to change it from 1920 to 817 um, oh, let's type in 817 there. And um, this video is in 24 frames a second, so I'm going to click 24 frames. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, what it's done is actually remove that video from the timeline because it's actually reset it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to drag that video back in, and you've got the starting of that sort of cinematic uh, look uh, for your film. Now, obviously, if you want to fill the screen, you just go to the transform and just bring the picture out and maybe scale it just up just a little bit so it doesn't look um, stupid but as you can see it's a lot much of a it's got much of a sort of better sort of cinematic sort of look to the video and it's going to give you a lot more better look to your production um, in the end so final cut has always been a bit awkward uh, to do this uh, but obviously you can see here it works quite nice it looks pretty good um, when you sort of render this out you will get the black bars um, as well um, but it will give you that sort of cinematic look at the same time now the best one to do it in is uh, Premiere Pro so I'm going to show you that now so um, as you can see I've got the same clip here uh, playing so very simply in Premiere Pro we're going to go up to sequence sequence setting and we're basically going to change it exactly the same as what we did here in the frame rate size as we did in Final Cut. So we're going to change that to 817. We're going to click OK. I mean, it'll give you a warning, but don't worry about that. Just click OK, and then boom, we have a perfect cinematic look to our video. It actually does obviously a better job in uh, Premiere Pro because uh, Premiere Pro is a hell of a lot better than Final Cut I'm sorry to all you Final Cut guys out there Premiere Pro does a better job of basically everything um, but yeah two sort of ways to do it for you guys so one in uh, Final Cut view there and one in Premiere Pro there as you can see so I hope you found this quite helpful uh, as always, thanks for listening. Please remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Um, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.